Well, SolidWorks is a CAD system. Um, it's used by mechanical engineers to design their products. Um, those products can range from um, consumer level products like telephone handsets, for example, um, right through to very large machinery like production lines and plant design. Well, SolidWorks um, is a piece of software that allows people to design shapes. Um, they build their 3D geometry um, as individual parts, then they build those parts into large assemblies and they make drawings of those um, designs to pass on to other people. Eventually those designs that people are making with SolidWorks would turn into something that um, you would see on you know, your typical shop shelf. Um, or it might be something like a machine that's used in the background to build those products that you buy in the end. Very typically a customer will be building um, a digital model of their design so that they can test whether it's going to work. Um, they would do that by um, testing to see if it looks right, testing to see if the pieces of it interfere with each other, testing to see if it functions properly, moves properly, doing stress analysis on it to test that it won't break. The graphics performance of SolidWorks is very important indeed to our customers. Um, they do work with large assemblies, they do modify what they're doing quite a lot and they need to have very uh, quick feedback of changes in their design and they get all of that through looking at it on the screen through the graphical subsystem. It's extremely important that SolidWorks and the underlying hardware work well together. There's no question that SolidWorks and ATI Fire Pro products work very well together. SolidWorks users I think are looking for a combination of high performance and maximum realism. Um, we can get the high performance because the memory buffers in the cards are so uh, large nowadays and the performance, the basic throughput of the cards is so high. That's an enormous benefit to our customers. And then from the advanced shader capabilities that we have nowadays, we can also provide them with great realism. If you go back a few years, um, of course you had cards with no shader capability at all. And then the shader capability came in, but you're very limited in the length of program, for example, that you could write. Now in the last few years there has been this continual advancement from ATI in um, the size and complexity of shader program that the cards have supported and that's enabled us to provide better and better realism with each release of SolidWorks. SolidWorks customer is typically choosing his graphics card based on which one can give him the best performance within his budget. ATI Fire Pro cards do have a good performance to price ratio. Well, I think our challenges moving forwards are all about keeping up with user expectations. So first of all the models they build are getting bigger all the time so they need better graphics performance in order to be able to continue to work with those models in real time. User expectations are also going up all the time because they need more realism or expect more realism. They can see that realism in games, for example. ATR Fire Pro and SolidWorks work very well together. A good example would be the continual advancement of graphics hardware capabilities over the last few years. Every year, AMD ATI has come out with a new card with greater performance, greater capacity than previous years. And SolidWorks has been able to build on that and give our customers what they need, both in terms of performance and realism. The ATI Fire Pro and SolidWorks will continue to work together as we've done in the past to provide great solutions for our users.